having defined the relation between the phone reference field here and the student's phone ref, we can now use that to build up, uh, for example, a query. Let me show you very simply how that works. I don't want to explain queries in too much depth at the moment, but I'll show you how you can pull information out from more than one table at once. Query. We're going to create a query in Design View. We just want to create something that looks like the Word document that I showed you earlier on. So we need to add the phone, add the student table, add the phone table, and we're going to have the student's name, maybe the phone reference, and the, the name of the phone. We're going to put the name of the phone there and then the reference on the right. If we just run that, that should be the same data as we typed in. Now the advantage of doing it like this is you'll see that this information is taken from just one place. So for example, if I've spelt the 880i wrong or spelt silver wrong or got it wrong and maybe said gold or something, I could go in and change that in one place. Let me show you. I might change it. Go back to table, go into phone, and where it says 880i. Maybe it was the 890i and I made a mistake. Okay, now that one change in that one place should affect all the records in my query. And there they are, they're all now 890s. And that's one of the beauties of a relational database. It corrects mis it stops us making mistakes in the first place from re repeating things and saves the amount of space we need to type things in and makes updating things much, much easier.